if you ever pick up a magazine or watch anybody show or any hunters are talking about, they're talking about when is the rut, when is the peak of the rut, and I want to go hunt the peak of the rut. And I know me and Scott feel the same about this, that the peak of the rut might not really be the very best time to be hunting bucks. But however, we're all going to get asked, and it's a big thing, and everybody wants to know, especially all the new people come in, is where's the best place to be hunting during the rut? Kansas. Kansas. <laughs> <laughs> I think, that I was think short that, and sweet. <laughs> I think that, you know, the peak of the rut thing is... Uh, to me, I grew up in Minnesota, southern Minnesota, and it was always fun to hunt the absolute peak of the rut when the bucks are on the does and, and it's real open country. And I'd watch whitetail bucks on, on hot does out in the wide open and crawl up on them and, and spot and stalk. So the peak of the rut was optimum. I, d I think it depends on the area, your method of hunting. I think that it's all, it's all uh, relative to, to the rut. Pre-rut can be excellent. Post rut can be really good on food plots. You know, it, it, I guess uh, you know the rut to me is is important, but I'm not going to not hunt before it, and I'm not going to not hunt after it. <laughs> well, it's it's kind of like that conversation about full moon. When should you hunt? It's the same thing with the rut. If you're so fortunate to be able to get out and hunt two days, hunt those two days. If you got to schedule it, then you can, you can kind of determine. And most of the time, for most people, there's a, a pre-rut that starts in October, runs into November, and then there's the actual rut. And most of the people want to hunt right where pre-rut is coming into rut. Does are starting to stand, and the big bucks are up. Because what happens in pre-rut all the young deer are running, it's fun. You see deer running, chasing tails, flying, you say, oh, it's on. Well, no, it's not on, it's getting ready to get on. And so all the little bucks are up, but right as it starts, a couple does start to stand and start to be bred. Now your big bucks are on their feet for a week or two of the whole year that these big mature bucks come out of heavy cover and are on their feet during daylight hours. And that's when you wanna be hunting. A week later, they're still on their feet in daylight hours, but they're off sequestered with a doe in a thicket for a couple days. And then all you have is when they're looking for the next doe in between. Still very, very good hunting. You still want to be out there. But the, I think the point is, might we be so lucky to hunt the rut, pre-rut, whatever it is. If you get a chance to go get in your tree, go get in a tree and just have it fun. Well, I, I think there's no more unpredictable time than the peak of the rut because you got, as we all know now, that there's so much research been done in the last 25 years on deer that you don't have to be a biologist to know a lot about them. There's so much information out there. Now you got what's called the lockdown, which we never talked about that 20 years ago, which it's a fact now that when the <laughs> big influx of does are in heat all at one time, the way Mother Nature designs this thing, everybody gets bred at once and then you flood the woods with fawns born on the same day within a few day period that the predators can't get them all. That each and every buck in the woods out there has got a doe standing with him with the way our you know buck to doe ratios are skewed today and when them does are in heat and they're tired of being run they go lay down somewhere and don't move too much and it's like a lot of people say man it should be right you know it's the rut and we ain't seen nothing for days and stuff and that's what happens that we know today that didn't know before lockdown is what we call the period that we used to say where'd all them darn bucks go yeah <laughs> now he's now we're smart and we just say oh it's lockdown <laughs> but I think you can still hunt that. that you, I hunt a lot of open ground. I hunt um, Kansas, South Dakota, North Dakota, uh, Southern Minnesota, a lot of open country. I, li I really like open country, and I like hunting whitetails in open country. is really fun. But I guess we experience it maybe different than you would in Iowa, and like we do in Minnesota where there's a lot of timber. Uh, the lockdown period where they're, they're with the hot does and everything, that's some of the best time because once you see them bed in the morning, uh, they'll run that doe out into a little thicket or whatever they, they bed down. That's a perfect stock opportunity. And whitetails are very stockable. It's you know, fun. our Midwest, a lot of big timber, hills, rolling hills. And, of course, again, I've said so many times I like to hunt food plots. But when the rut's on, the does are going to the food, 
the guys ain't thinking about the food quite for a week or two. He's thinking about the does, where's she gonna be? But you know, deer's defense is also uh, what gets him going and keeps him his nose going and his eye. He likes to get up on ridge tops if we're hunting a lot of hill area because what he can do, he's got great eyesight. He can see off if there's any does. Up on top, he can smell if there's any does. And of course, if you can find an area where you've got ridges, where he can get up high and then goes to a food plot where the does are coming and going, I think that's the best of both worlds for the type of hunting I like to do. We'll focus a lot of times during that, that rut, and we see a lot of guys, you know, want to schedule. They waited three years to draw a tag, what, five days? And you get that question, and it's, you know, it's tough because you got to tell all these people an answer, and then everybody wants to come in the same specific time frame. So it's hard to be vague, but the reality is if you have a chance, like Scott said, if you have a chance to get in the woods during the rut, go and hunt. Um, we have good success pre and post, and I, I, the lockdown period, I hate. I mean, like you love it and open, but yeah, up here in the timber, when those big ones lock up and disappear, it's just, you're just hoping that you can catch them in between. And what, what we found is during, truthfully, even right at that pre time, during and post, right after, um, we love hunting where those big uh, drainages kind of roll up in towards the crop ground and those first couple of trails that they start cutting across from one ravine or one ridge to the next ridge, love hunting those as travel corridors because those bucks are, they're hitting those ridges, checking a bedding area and then cutting up to the next one. And it just feels like you've got so much activity through there and if they are up chasing a doe, that's where those does, they're cutting through that easy ground. So you get, you may not get a shot sometimes if it's during lockdown because they won't stop moving. That's half the problem during that time well, frame. Just like in fishing, they say 90% of the fish are only in 10% of the lake. They are where they're at. And at that time of year, you gotta hunt somewhere where it puts the percentages in your favor that something up on its feet is gonna come within range of you. I mean, that varies from archery hunting to rifle hunting but either someplace that they're, it's going to connect them from one place to the other where they're moving or going to a food source, food plot type deal where they're going to look for the females showing up there. 